74 feet of water. We got our downrigger with our camera on it, so hopefully we can get some footage of some fish biting on the camera. I have two dipsies out. Al's got two dipsies and he's putting out a couple boards. We had one fish on, it got off. He only had his number one dipsy out, 85. Well, we don't have a whole lot of marks yet this afternoon. We just got out here at about 440. This is my seven color lead. Uh, oh, this feels good. This feels real good. Just wait until you take this off. You're gonna feel how heavy it is. Oh yeah. It feels tight. And uh, I mean, Every once in a while, we'll see these planter boards drop with the, the lead core, but not like this. I mean, that, this was instant. So I think that's gonna be a nice fish on the end of this. Oh yeah, some nice head shakes. Oh yeah, very nice. Very nice. got about 160 feet left. Oh, wow. Let's see if we can get a net. This is a nice fish. I don't see it on the top yet. Oh my God. Hopefully he's not just hooked corner. funky. Yeah. There he is. He's flopping. Might be a foul hook. There he is. Looks like a big fish. Looks though. like a nice fish. Oh my goodness. Lead core. Oh my god. Scott, you see why I brought my uh, downrigger line? Just make sure you don't hit that. It's definitely hook funky. Yeah, you can see his, he's spinning. I've got him by like the back end. His paint, his uh, mouth ain't, isn't even facing forward. Go to your right, Eddie. Oh, yeah, I see her. All right, let's turn it over here. Nice. Oh, another junior thunder stick. Woo. Nice fish. Well, let's see what happens here. His board tripped as he was letting out that lead core, and for some oh. reason, his flag just went down on yeah. the lead core. That's not good. Well, the flag on the lead core went down. It's riding to the outside, though, so. Yeah, we don't need to put it up. Eddie, you gonna get the board? Oh, yeah. Back up to you, please. It's staying out there. Yeah. Al's gonna 
release the board on this one. I love these OR18 clips. Grab that line. There you go. Here's the, here's the clips he's talking about. Just flip it forward to lock in the line. Very easy to use. Feel anything on there too? Oh, my board's starting to come in. You gotta get the weight off of it. So, she's reeling it in and my board's starting to come in, so it's likely that we have a tangle here. I kind of figured when it was letting it out. Yeah. Should have reeled it in, but yeah. I don't think it would be bad in the tangle though. I think well, I need a board trip, so we're gonna have to bring it in. Anyway. Where you at? I don't hit, oh wait, that counter works. Oh that's a five color. Oh you had another let out. Oh. So there's no way uh, weight on here. This is a uh Apollo Apollo trail dance. I'm not surprised it's catching the fish. I'm probably going to grab the net if there's a fish on it. That's probably true. Let's go on the other corner. Flies bite. 45. 45? 30 Oh. Oh. That rigger just popped. Might have caught that on the camera. This way. This way, Mom. This way. puts that wrap of a tail dancer on, he catches fish. Nice oh yeah, fish. nice, nice fish. Good job. Nice Set it on the ground. Yeah, now my inside dipsy pop a number two setting 130. Just gotta watch my downrigger, just take it over this way. Camera popped, I was trying to tighten it up. I think I have a fish on it. Yeah, it's a fish. Yeah, it's Slow down, Pat. Yeah, you got a fish there. You got a flipper? Yeah. I don't know if I could have just flipped. So he just caught one on the downrigger. Nice fish. I was just trying to Keep tighten it up on and the I think I had it. And then she's reeling in one. We're at 50. He's gonna get the net. 
I think this is a nice fish too. Oh yeah, that is very nice fish. The rod tip up nice. Just bring it right here, baby. That's a nice fish. Look at a mouse on that thing. Fish. Thing is, wow. Look at that, Abigail. He is big. Whoa. He is 26. 26. No, 27. Uh, we'll bleed him out, man. Yeah. 27. Monster fish. The thing about these fish <laughs> fishing deep like this, you can't really return them. Their air bladders are popped and they're not going to make it. So when you're fishing deep water, you pretty much have to release them. Even the little ones, they might look like they swim off, but they probably aren't going to make it. So anything we keep, if it's legal, uh, we're going to keep it instead of releasing anything, just so we don't take a chance of it dying anyway. This, uh, this planter board right over here, it was just down. I don't know if you guys saw it, and now the flag's up. I mean, it never tripped or anything, but or released. But interesting. But yeah, we'll get our lines back out here, and hopefully, we can get some more fish, just like that. It's a good fish. Number two setting. Had it on one thirty. 50. Better watch it down there, Good fish. Staying down, too, straight down. He's really cool. Yeah. 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 Another over there. It's another nice fish. I don't think he might have had something on his inside dipsy, so he's gonna reel it in and check it. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got something. Oh yeah. Okay, Mom, you can be the netter this time. I'd like to check my other Dipsy, too. Doing a pretty good job of catching for, 30 you know, on. before Why 5 o'clock in the evening. Oh, he will make it if we net it. Oh, all right. Sorry. You always got to show the viewers what not to do. Nope. After I got tangled. So he grabbed that rod up there on the tree and start reeling that one in. Yeah. Don't even put that back out, Eddie. Seven colors of um, advanced lead core. So we're getting down 50 plus feet. I don't know what lure Isle's running right now. Uh, you're running that, uh, you're still running that junior thunderstick. Yeah. We should have tried some uh, Flicker Minnow 11s. We haven't tried any the last couple times out. That feels good.
not gonna have to work out. Oh, you're just starting to get the lead now. So 200 feet left is that what that means. Well, Ralph, she's reeling in, Ed. You want to give uh, give the rundown of today real quick? Um, so we're out here at 73 feet of water, about eight miles out. Um, oh, that's some nice head shape there. Um, we've caught about eight, nine, I think this is. Uh, we've hooked up on, I think, almost every one of our rods. The dead seas, the lead core, the downrigger. I mean, everything. I just hit. didn't hook out up on my uh, outside dipsy. That's that's it. Yep, that's the only one. Well, I haven't hit on my outside dipsy either, but we've hit on every every form of yeah, we did. fishing that we're using. Um, the uh, midnight moonshine, or I think it's called blue tuxedo. That's over there. Here, I'll show that one to you. This one hit quite that's a bit. Always, that's always good for yeah. us. Yeah, always. Uh, the Rapala tail dancer hit yeah. for us. We just started running that on the lead core, and it's lately it's been good too. I'll catch this fish on that one every time. The counters off. Want to give you a break? Sure. Oh, all right. back there. It's far, but I see it. 16. Oh yeah, I see it. trying to beat his mom with a net. Oh yeah. Hey, this is Alex with Dirty Bird Outdoors. Um, we just finished fishing on Erie uh, out of Geneva. We had a great night. Um, we did have to cut it a little early. We caught about 12 fish. We had a sixth passenger, so um, we still had a great night. Caught some big fish. Uh, had to throw a couple back in, but it was a good night fishing. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. Make sure to like, follow our pages, and share our videos. And like always, stay dirty.